Hey guys, and welcome to my VFX blog where you get to ask me visual effects and filmmaking questions and I will try my best to answer them. This is episode 6 and we have some really great questions lined up. First off, I'm going to talk a little bit about the latest version of Adobe After Effects, which is After Effects CC and about the Adobe Creative Cloud. Then we have a really great question lined up from one of you guys, which is how do I loop a clip in Adobe After Effects, for example, a muzzle flash? Do note that if you want to jump to a specific question in the vlog, I'm going to put little links at the beginning of the vlog, so you can just click on those ones if you want to jump to a specific question. But without further ado, let's jump right into the vlog. A lot of people ask me what version of After Effects do I use, and I'm actually on the latest version of After Effects, which is After Effects CC. CC stands for Creative Cloud, and what that means is Adobe has actually moved all their licenses into a cloud-based subscription model. So rather than paying for single licenses, which usually used to cost you over $1,000, I think it was $1,200 for After Effects and $1,200 for Premiere or Photoshop individually, you now pay a monthly subscription fee and you get access to all of Adobe's products. The great thing about this is that it always includes all the latest versions and all updates, they're all available to use. So as long as you subscribe to the Adobe Creative Cloud, you get all updates, all new versions, you get to download them straight away off the internet. The new features in After Effects CC over CS6, there's basically three of them. The Warp Stabilizer has gotten a very big update and is a lot easier to control and has a lot more functionality. They've added a Refine Edge tool which makes rotoscoping of things like hair or tree lines, very detailed sections, a lot easier. And the third thing, which I think is really great, is the Cineware plugin. The Cineware plugin allows you to create Cinema 4D layers in After Effects. What that means is that you basically have a layer in After Effects that represents a Cinema 4D scene. And by double clicking on it, you can actually go straight into Cinema 4D where you can manage your scene, your camera, all your objects and all your 3D elements. And then that renders straight in After Effects. So you can create great 3D integration effects without the whole, you know, set it up in After Effects, export everything, put it into Cinema 4D, render everything, put it back out and composite it in After Effects. Everything is now integrated into After Effects and the workflow is so much cleaner and easier. So that is an overview over After Effects CC, which is the latest version of After Effects that I'm using for my tutorials. But don't stress, a lot of people ask me, oh, can I do this in CS3 or CS4? Most of my tutorials, unless they use specific features out of later version of After Effects, most of my tutorials are applicable. You can probably do them with CS3 because it's just the basic tools. It's masking, mats, animations, very simple things that you can do with very early versions of After Effects. Now let's get to your questions and the really great question I got from, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, Sebastian De Wiley is, how do I loop something in After Effects? For example, if I have a muzzle flash, how do I make the clip loop inside of Adobe After Effects? I'm going to jump into After Effects and show you exactly how easy it is. Here I have a clip from one of my tutorials and all I'm doing is I'm kind of swinging a gun around pretending to shoot something. Assuming you'd want to add a whole bunch of muzzle flashes to this clip, um, what you do, I've got a little muzzle flash, you drag this clip at the correct time, you'd probably start rotating it and lining it up with your gun. So obviously you'd need more muzzle flashes because this clip doesn't repeat, you can't make the layer any longer, it's just a single muzzle flash. Now let's say you wanted to repeat this one. Um, one way to do this obviously is to do this manually where you can just duplicate the clip, you can offset it where you need to, um, move it over, let's do another one there, move that one over, and so on and so forth, and you can kind of build them up and obviously it, I mean you do have advantage because the individual clips are easy to place, you don't need to animate anything, but it is quite tedious if you have a whole lot of them. So let's assume you had a single clip and you wanted to loop it. I'm just going to delete those ones, take this clip. There's two ways to loop a clip. The first one and easiest one is to actually right click on your clip in your project window, go to interpret footage, click on main. And in the settings at the very bottom, you've got other options. Other options actually has an option to loop your clip. So at the moment it only loops once. Let's say you wanted to loop it five times, hit okay. And you can automatically see that the layer has gotten a whole lot bigger. Now it doesn't stretch out there yet, so we have to kind of stretch it across. But now if you play this clip back, we will see one, two, three, four, five muzzle flashes because the clip gets repeated five times. Obviously, the muzzle flash stays at the same spot because we haven't animated it, but that's how you basically loop the clip. Another way to loop a muzzle flash is actually to use expressions. And what you can do is you can select your footage layer, you can go to layer, time, enable time remapping, hit that. So now basically this muzzle flash has a time remap effect on it. Notice that there's keyframes that specify the times of this clip. 
you could technically copy these keyframes over and over and you can kind of start stretching out the layer. Um, I think it'll actually freeze on the last frame at the moment. But you could copy those keyframes across. You can go copy them, paste them in there, go to the end, move one, copy them, paste them in there, move one forward, paste it in there. And so now it basically repeats over and over and over. And you, and you can also speed them up as you'd want to. But what you can do as well, which I think is a lot easier, you can actually use an expression to loop this clip. So what you do is you alt click onto the stopwatch icon for the time remap effect. You get the little expression editor. And now you can either remember that or I actually just like to use the lookup here. Just click on this language menu, go over to property and in property you'll find a loop out type cycle num keyframe zero. Just click that. You don't need to change anything at all. That's just default parameters that are being passed into the loop out function. And all this does, it automatically loops your clip for you. And you can stretch this out as long as you want it to, just because you've got the time remap effect on it. But yeah, that's the options you have when you want to loop a clip in Adobe After Effects. I really hope you enjoyed this VFX vlog. As always, any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down in the section below, and I will get around to answering them. This VFX vlog is meant for you to ask me questions and for me to get an opportunity to answer a lot of those questions in person, to show you stuff in After Effects, even some quick tips and tricks. So start leaving questions down below on my Twitter, on my Facebook, and I will get around to answering them. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, share the video around. It really helps out a lot. And as always, you can also find and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Until next time, I will see you later.